Hi, I'm Barbara Wygan. I'm with the Caring Arts Foundation. Caring Arts provides music and art programming for people dealing with cancer throughout the Chicagoland area. We normally go to hospitals and cancer support communities to do this, but we've created a series of YouTube projects with simple art activities that you can create in your own home. Today we're going to create flower pots out of used Chinese cartons. Uh, if you like carry out as much as I do, uh, especially these days, and Chinese carry out is one of my favorites, they normally come in these cool little cartons. Usually they're white. Uh, you can use the white ones. I happen to have some craft paper ones that I particularly like, but uh, you can use white ones. They can be any size and you can create these fun little flower pots. Now you will need two cartons, both the same size. You can make your pots any size you like, but to do that, you need two of the same size cartons. If you're uh, using recycled cartons, make sure you wash them out carefully and let them dry, and then you'll be ready to start your projects. In addition, you need a ruler or a straight edge, a scissors, some Sharpie markers. They can be any color and they can be as many colors as you like. I just happen to have three uh, for the project I'm gonna to create today. You need a pencil and you need some push pins or thumbtacks. You could also use uh, the straight pins that have the little pearl end uh, on them. Those will work also. I particularly like uh, the regular push pins like these. And then you're gonna need at least one or two uh, screwdrivers or an awl. So the first thing you're gonna do is take one of your cartons and you need to take it apart. So you have to take off the wire handle and discard that because then you're not going to need that anymore. And flatten out your box. And then the next thing you do is take your straight edge or your ruler and you're going to put it along uh, one side. Uh, it doesn't matter which side you choose. Um, actually, to begin with, I think I'm going to use um, the side that has the, uh, uh, the little latch to close it. Now you want to line up your ruler on the fold and then you're going to draw a line going straight across. And then you turn, turn the box and you line it up on the straight edge and again go straight across. And you're going to do that with each segment. So once again, I'm on the folded edge where the flap is. I'm going to line it up on the fold and go straight across. And keep doing that on every side. So there you go. Basically what we're going to do is cut this down and make it smaller. And we're going to cut off all the, the folded ends. So I'm just going to follow my pencil line all the way across and cut straight across uh, my pencil line. There we go. So now I have something that looks like an octagon, looks like a big stop sign. Uh, now you want the waxy side to go in and that's how it would normally be folded. But on those little, those little corners, those normally are folding in. We want to fold those little corners out. There we go. This way all the water will run into the center. And the next thing you want to do is take your second box you to put that aside for the moment. And all the flaps, you want to turn those to the inside. Right along on the fold line. Just fold them right along to the inside. So basically, you have a little box without the flaps. Just like that. And you can leave the little handle because it's kind of cute. Then the next thing we're going to do is to take our Sharpie markers and we're going to create a design. You can create any design you like. 
It can be an all over design or a symmetrical design. I've started one here. I'll show you what I've been doing. So I created a horizontal uh, pattern uh, using these three different colors. It's nice if you create something that has three or uh, four harmonious colors, but really you can use as many colors as you like. Um, so I've, I've done this on the two sides and on the front, and I'm going to continue my pattern around the back. Now to do that, you want to make sure you line up your pattern if you have a pattern like that. Now if you do an overall pattern, it really won't matter. You just create uh, whatever you like going all over the whole thing. So I'm going to continue my pattern. And again, I'm going to make sure it lines up. There we go. So I've, I've continued my black squiggly line all the way around. And then I'm going to take my gold. And there we go. My pattern's going all the way around. So you continue that and finish that up. And then the next thing you do is you take your, um, your box and you're going to put a hole in the bottom of it. Now you're going to use your awl or your uh, screwdriver and just push a hole all the way in the bottom. There you go, like that. If you want to make it a little bigger, you can use a slightly bigger screwdriver and push that all the way through. And this way, you have a drain hole in the bottom. And your water, when you water it, will drain out. Now the last thing we're going to do is uh, to put our push pins in the bottom. That's going to create little feet so it will stand up and then when you put it in your little pot holder here the water will drain and, and will always stay inside the little the little bottom carryout. Uh, and then last but not least is you need to put a plant in it. So I've got a little um, an oregano plant because I happen to love herbs and uh, I'm going to put my my herb plant in here. Make sure you're protecting your table because it's going to get dirt on it. And there we go. I've got my little herb pot. You can make a whole bunch of these and set it in your little holder and put it on the windowsill, create a whole bunch and put them in a row and you've got a selection of herbs and you can use those for cooking and they smell fantastic and you can look at them uh, and feel good about bringing the outside in. So enjoy your project and we'll have some more for you soon. Bye-bye.